This tutorial is brought to you by Envato Elements. Hello video creators, thanks for watching Storysium. In this short tutorial I will show you how you can make this shiny text animation effect inside Premiere Pro. If you want to know more about the fonts, the backdrop or other items used in this tutorial then check the links in the video description. And that's it for the intro, without further ado let's head over to Premiere and start some editing. Inside Premiere I've already got this nice particle clip on the timeline. I will use this as a background, but of course you can use any image or clip as a background, this is just an example. I'm going to start by adding some text with the type tool. You can enable the type tool by clicking here or hit the T key on your keyboard to enable the type tool. Then you can just click anywhere in the program monitor and start typing. I will just type the word shiny because we're going to make a shiny title. And then after typing you can go back to the selection tool by clicking this icon here. With the selection tool enabled you can resize the text to any size that you like. I'll go for something like this for this example. And then inside the essential graphics panel I will first center the text and align it vertically. As you can see I'm using the blank smile regular font for this example. This is a font from Envado Elements, you can find the links in the description. Next I will also change the colors of the text. I've already saved the color codes that I want to use here in this text document, so I will select and copy them and then paste them here inside the color selection window. Then I will also enable stroke for the title and increase it to 10 pixels. I've also saved the color code for this one, so again copy and paste. Next I will extend the text layer on the timeline to match the background video's length. Then I'll duplicate that layer 3 times by holding the ALT key combined with the left mouse button and then drag it one track up, so in total we need 4 copies of the same text. After that select the top text layer and then go back to the essential graphics panel to change colors. I will change the text color to white and I'll change the stroke color to grey. Now we can move over to the effect controls panel and then click on this pen icon or free draw bezier tool to create a mask. You can add a mask point by left clicking in the program monitor and you need to make a mask that covers the text from top to bottom. It should look something like this. Ok the mask is finished so now we can enable keyframes for mask path by clicking on this stopwatch icon here. Then move a few frames forward, select the mask and reposition the mask by moving it to the other side of the text. And if I now scrub to the timeline you can see the reflection effect that this creates. This is already looking great, but the edge of the mask is still a bit too sharp in my opinion. We could improve this a lot by increasing the mask feather, something like this should work. Ok let's now take a quick look at what we've created so far. In the following steps we're going to add a star filter effect, but first a message from our sponsor Envado Elements. It doesn't matter if you create videos for a living or just for a hobby, you need to know about Envado Elements. And that's because they offer millions of high quality assets for your video projects, all within one single subscription. And this includes stock video, music and sound effects, fonts, video animation templates and much more. I've got my own paid subscription for a couple of years now and I still visit the website multiple times a week for many of my projects. So I can highly recommend you to give it a try, please use the link in the description to check them out and also support my channel. In the next steps we're going to change the blend mode for text layers 2 and 3. I'm going to start by selecting text layer number 3 and then inside the effects control panel I will change the blend mode to hard light. Depending on the colors of your text you might also want to pick something different here like screen for example. Anyway you could always try another blend mode and see if this works better with your colors. Next I'll do the same with the second text layer, I will also select hard light as the blend mode for this one. And by the way changing the blend mode for these two layers is needed to create the star filter look later on. But first we're going to change the colors of the text for text layers 2 and 3. And also here I've already got a color code ready in this notepad, so I'm going to copy this from the notepad and then paste this into the color selector. And I'll do the same for the third text layer, I will also select it and then paste the color code. And after that we're going to apply an effect to both layers. Inside the effects panel we're going to search for directional blur. You can find this under video effects blur and sharpen and as I said we're going to apply this to the second and third text layer. Ok so now I've got the second text layer selected and now we can move over to the effect controls panel. First I'm going to change the direction to 45 degrees and also enable keyframes for direction. Then move the first keyframe to the beginning and create a second keyframe by changing the value to 1x45 degrees. 
and then move that keyframe to the end. And then I will also set blur length to 500 pixels. And now you can already see some light rays, and if I scrub to the timeline, you can see the rotation effect that we created with these two direction keyframes. Next we're going to do the same steps with the other text layer, only here we're going to set the first keyframe to minus 45 degrees and move this to the beginning, and then set the second keyframe to 315 degrees and move this to the end. Also here we're going to set blur length to 500 pixels. Ok, and again, let's take a look at what we've got so far. In the following steps I will add some extrusion to the text and give this a bit of a 3D look. First we need to go to the effects panel and then search for the drop shadow effect, you can find this effect under video effects perspective. And then apply this effect 5 times to the bottom text layer. After that we can go to the effect controls panel and in there we're going to set opacity to 100% for all the drop shadow effects. And besides that we're going to set a different distance for each effect. We're going to start with 2 and for the next one it will be 4, after that it will be 8, 16 and finally 32. And as you can see here this all together adds a nice extruded 3D look to the title. Finally, if you want to animate the title further, I would recommend nesting all the layers first. So this means that you need to select all the text layers, then right click on it and then select nest. Then give the nested sequence a name and click ok. And now you could add keyframes for scaling for example to make the text zoom in slowly. Another example would be to add the basic 3D effect and then make the text swivel and tilt. And this all together could look something like this. And that also concludes this tutorial. If you did enjoy this one then please like the video, it's free and it also helps me to make more of these videos for you. Anyway, as always I would like to say thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.